In this video, I will be making a comparison between the two engineering disciplines of electrical engineering and instrumentation engineering in terms of their career opportunities, curriculum and fields of applications. So this is an important consideration for a person considering a career in engineering. Both instrumentation engineering as well as electrical engineering are closely related branches of engineering as both of them are sacred branches. So naturally both of them require a similar aptitude but not exactly the same aptitude which we will see soon. Actually even though both are circuit branches still there are significant differences in the fields of application, career opportunities as well as their curriculum. So taking up electrical engineering, electrical engineering is a old engineering branch starting from the time of Tesla and Edison and it has wide applications in the generation, transmission, distribution as well as the electrification works of buildings. So the electrical engineers have wide opportunities in the design, installation and maintenance of electrical equipment as well as electrical installations. At the same time, instrumentation engineering is a predominantly industry oriented field of engineering branch which evolved from electrical engineering as a specialized branch and it has applications in process industries and also some specialized applications like ships. Instrumentation engineers find job opportunities in the maintenance, monitoring and control of process variables in the process industries as well as calibration of equipment. Now comparing the job opportunities given by these two fields of engineering. As we know electricity is a lifeblood of the modern civilization. So naturally the electrical engineers have wide opportunities in the power stations transmission substations as well as distribution substations. In addition, they have the largest number of opportunities in the electrification works of commercial as well as domestic buildings. Instrumentation engineering, as I told, has applications mainly in the process industry. So naturally, the job opportunities will depend on the presence of industry in the job market. So one important criteria for selecting between these two fields of engineering is the job market you are targeting. So for example, if you are targeting a job market like the Middle East, which has a large number of process industries, then instrumentation engineering may be a good choice. However, if you are considering a job market like India, which has less extent of industrialization, less presence of process industry, then the number of job opportunities for instrumentation engineering will be comparatively less. So this is also evident in the comparatively less number of seats for instrumentation engineering in India compared to the electrical engineers. Now coming to the second aspect, we will compare them in terms of their curriculum. So this is important because as we know, one important consideration for choosing a career is aptitude. And the curriculum is definitely closely related to the aptitude. Speaking about electrical engineering, it is a very voluminous and difficult subject to study because it is, as I told, it is an old field of engineering. And so naturally its curriculum is more theoretical in nature. And also it encompasses a large number of technical fields like power system, electrical machines, electronics, electromagnetic theory, control systems, power electronics and so on. So for this reason electrical engineering is even considered as the toughest engineering branch. On the other hand instrumentation engineering is a specialized branch which evolved from electrical engineering focusing on the industrial instrumentation and so naturally its extent is comparatively limited and 
it comprises mainly a subset of topics of electrical engineering like control system, electronics, measurement, industrial, instrumentation and so on. So here the main thing in instrumentation engineering that is not there in the electrical engineering is the presence of industrial instrumentation. Now this is evident from comparing the gate syllabuses for these two branches. For those outside India, let me introduce what is GATE. GATE is actually a benchmark for engineering qualification in India. It stands for Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. So qualifying for GATE is considered a recognition for the engineering graduates in India. This GATE exam is considered for selection to various jobs in public sector undertakings as well as for higher studies. So naturally the syllabus of GATE is considered a benchmark for the engineering curriculum in India. Now if you compare the syllabus for the, these two engineering branches, you can see the difference in the expense of the two branches. Electrical engineering has much more topics to cover whereas the instrumentation engineering has relatively less topics to cover. Now, the third criteria for selection between these two branches of engineering is the choice of institution in terms of their infrastructure. This is important because, as we know, the gap between what is taught in the academy and what is actually practiced in the industry is very high in the case of engineering. So, unless you have a good exposure to the actual equipment and processes in the industry while you are studying, it will be difficult for you to adapt it to your workplace. Now, speaking about electrical engineering, the training equipment for electrical engineering are relatively straightforward, simpler, more readily available and cheap. This is because electrical engineering is a very commonly applied field and the patents for the equipments are not generally applicable. On the other hand, instrumentation engineering is a specialized branch of engineering focusing on some specialized applications like process industries. And so naturally, the equipment involved in instrumentation engineering are in the form of specialized electronics and software. So these are actually more of a proprietary type and they have less scale of manufacture and for these reasons they are very expensive in nature. So usual engineering colleges and technical institutes may not be in a position to afford such expensive instruments. So this will leave the trainee with less opportunities to apply what he has learned in the theory in practice. So the gravity of this aspect is manifested in two ways. First is the practical demonstration is very important for understanding the concepts of control theory, which is the basis of instrumentation engineering. The second thing is the industry academic gap compounds to the already precarious job market for instrumentation engineering due to because the processes that are involved in instrumentation engineering are very costly and mission critical and hazardous in nature. So the employers are not very willing to take chances with fresh graduates or persons without practical experience. So in short, considering this aspect to geographical considerations, in a rich country, like a old rich country, then they may be able to afford good equipment for your technical institutes. So in that case, the instrumentation engineering may be a good choice. But if you are considering a country like India, most of the technical institutes are not in a good position to afford such costly equipment and training apparatus. And so this will be a drawback for instrumentation engineering. Now, as a tail end, there is one more thing an engineering career aspirant in India may consider while choosing instrumentation engineering. As I mentioned, instrumentation engineering 
has relatively less scope in India. And for this reason, the number of seats are also less. But there is one silver line for instrumentation engineering. As I mentioned, passing gate exam and getting a good score in gate exam is a major milestone for any engineering graduate in India. So comparing the two branches in terms of this aspect, instrumentation engineering is a better choice. That is because, as we have already seen, the competition for instrumentation engineering in terms of the number of candidates as well as the expense of the syllabus is much lesser than electrical engineering. So if you want to compete against less number of people and want to cover more depth with less syllabus, then instrumentation engineering may be a, a smarter choice. So hope it has been an informative video for you. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.